I said good night and kissed his cheek. I wondered about his cold and why he seemed so weak. But the doctors assured me it would run its course. No need to worry about his throat or why his voice was so hoarse. So I said good night in the usual way, sure that I'd be with him the following day. But in the darkness of night, while the world was fast asleep, I stood in terror as my son collapsed at my feet. There were no goodbyes, no words we could say, as we stood by in terror and asked the world to pray. Tables were being set with turkey and pumpkin pie while I was being asked to say my final goodbye. I could not let him go. I needed him here, but my prayers wouldn't be answered. I started to fear. So I whispered in his ear and told him it was okay and I'd be all right for him to go on his way. I hoped he could hear me, but I asked him to stay close and always be with us when we needed him most. There's no way to accept it or to understand why a parent should have to ever have to tell his child goodbye. That was the first poem I wrote for Jason, my son who passed away 21 years ago, the day after Thanksgiving. Since then, I've written so many things. I've written to Jason. I've written about Jason to let the world know who he was and that he was here and that he did exist. And I've written many things for people who have passed away. Unfortunately, I lost my parents. I've lost relatives. I've lost pets. I have friends that have lost children. And I've always been able to express myself through writing. And I've written to so many um, loved ones that have passed on. And I thought that maybe through my writings that I would share on this YouTube channel, someone might get comfort or feel that they're not so alone in their grieving. Because I do believe it's a very lonely process when you grieve for a loved one. No two people grieve the same. And so... You can't really say I know how you feel because nobody knows how the other person feels since everybody grieves so uniquely, um, individually, and it's so traumatic for everybody. And um, I'm hoping through this YouTube channel that there will be words of comfort to somebody who um, just can't find comfort. And I won't only just be reading my things. I've um, gone to Compassionate Friends for parents who've lost children. We've gone to um, different functions that are uh, parents who've lost children. And I have a lot of things that have been written by other people that I've kept because they did give me comfort. So I will share those as well. And I will tell you more about my personal experiences and more about my family life. And I will also talk about um, the way that my husband and I grieved and we did grieve very differently and it was a very um, challenging part of our marriage um, and there were times I thought we were hanging on by a thread in the beginning but we did find our way back to each other and um, we did decide that we were better together and that one of us could be strong when the other one couldn't be and if somebody couldn't face the day the other one supported them so it wasn't easy and it wasn't overnight, but we did find our way back and we have a very good marriage. I'll be married to my high school sweetheart, 42 years in January, and we've made a very different life for our family, but we've made a very happy life or the best life we could without Jason. And um, I think that sharing some of that and sharing some of how we went through it might help somebody out there. And I'd like to think that um, this channel could uh, maybe be listened to by somebody who says, oh my God, I feel like that too. And that could help somebody. So if there's somebody out there that gets help by listening to this, that's the only goal I really have for it. And because he did pass away the day after Thanksgiving, um, it's a tough day for me. And I wanted to do this because I'm dedicating this channel to Jason. So I thought it would be appropriate to do the first one the day after Thanksgiving. But because it is the day after Thanksgiving, I do want to wish everybody out there a happy Thanksgiving. Um, because 
if, if you had anybody to share Thanksgiving with, if you were surrounded by people you love or people that mean a lot to you, then it should be a happy Thanksgiving because I don't think there's a loved one that leaves us that doesn't hope that you're still happy and you're still surrounded by love and that you enjoy being with people that are important to you and that are dear to you. So I do I do hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. I don't want this channel to be a sad channel. I want to share some good news, some great things that my family has done, some wonderful ways that my son Jason has been memorialized. I've had a phenomenal community. They've supported my family and we have some remarkable um, memorials in the, com in the community that do um, were um, contributed to Jason's memory and that will stand forever in the um, community. So, uh, and through a lot of the things we've done for fundraising for uh, different events and for different things that have memorialized Jason, it has made me uh, feel that Jason is still very present, that people do remember him, that his time on earth will not be forgotten. And so I'll share a lot of that too. And, you know, like I said, I don't want it to be a sad channel. I feel that there's some ways that maybe I could still hopefully uh, share good times that have come to my family and uh, signs I get from Jason, because I do get signs that he's still around. I, I get little signs from him and it means the world to me. Um, I'm very spiritual. My husband is not spiritual. I don't know if my husband would have gotten the signs without me pointing them out. Um, I do seem to be able to um, recognize them. And so because I get signs and because he does give me signs, I'm going to share those as well. And maybe that also will be something that will help people maybe pick up that their loved ones giving them signs too and that they um, might have become just a little bit more in tune to that. And I do have happiness in my life. I mean, I don't want to negate anything about losing Jason and how tragic it was, but I have grandchildren that are magnificent. I have a son and daughter that I love, a daughter-in-law that's fantastic with a beautiful family that we, is now our extended family. And we have a lot to be thankful for, and we did have a nice Thanksgiving. And for whatever reason, and I don't really know the reason, I'm not in a rubber room bouncing off the walls, which is what, if you would have told me, even a year before Jason passed away, what was going to happen in my life, I would have said, okay, well, I'm going to be in a rubber room, and uh, I'll be bouncing off the walls. Please come visit me once in a while. And I would have swore that's how I would have reacted. But for whatever reason, I didn't. And I do seem open to talk about Jason, to talk about loss, and to share my feelings. And that's what I'm going to do on this YouTube channel. I hope you listen to it. I hope you subscribe. And I hope you find something in it that maybe uh, you think helps someone or you or something you're feeling um, make you feel better. Have a great day. I hope to talk to you again on this channel. I hope you listen. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.